Hey guys, we're back today. Um, I have a service call today doing uh, preventive maintenance on the uh, air handler and the condensing unit. So, first thing I do on a, if I do preventive maintenance, I check all the uh, air filters. And uh, this one right here we just replace. This is the uh, return airline for uh, the downstairs. This is a two story home. Uh, it has two condensing units and two air handlers in the attic. So we replaced this one because the other one, this is the first time they service the uh, air conditioning. And I'm going to show you the video of how dirty the, uh, the uh, air filter was when I replaced it. There's two of them. This one, like I said, this is one is for your uh, downstairs uh, air handler, the return airline. And further down over there, which is over that one, the one with the grill open, I replaced that filter too. That's, that one controls the, uh, uh, that's the return line for the uh, air handler upstairs. This is a two-story home, maybe like a 3,000 square footage uh, home. 3,000 plus so and uh, they wanted to uh, get everything checked out so we started with the uh, with their air filters for the return line and we also did the uh, the registers we all did oh uh, we did the ones uh, upstairs already so after we get done down up here we'll do the registers downstairs also so they were dirty, they were like uh, dust particles hanging out, you know, so we have to vacuum that out and clean it. So, all right, up to the attic. Hey guys, I'm back. I uh, went inside the house and I checked the, uh, the filter from the return line and this is how dirty it is. Uh, the other one, there's two of them upstairs. Um, both filters are the same, so the other one's already in the trash, and this one is the show for, uh, you know, you gotta change your filter. Get all this stuff, you know, creates a lot of restriction on airflow. So, wow, been a while since this thing is replaced, so glad they called. Alright. Hey guys, we're back. Um, here's my, uh, tool bag and light some on the knee we're gonna go up in the attic there's access to it so there's two air handlers up there like I said it's a uh, one for uh, upstairs and one uh, um, for downstairs so we're gonna both check them out today all right here we go hey guys we're back up here in the attic and this is our service call for today we're gonna be doing preventive maintenance on um, this air handler right here this is two-story home this is uh, this one right here controls the uh, upstairs level and um, this is the air handler for it. we're gonna check uh, the owner request to check uh, all the heating and uh, cooling also so we're gonna be doing um, like a sequence of operations as far as uh, firing up the gas furnace and uh, this one, like I said, this is the one for um, the upstairs. And over here on this side, this is going to be for the uh, downstairs. So there's the air handler for the downstairs right here. So we're going to be doing the same thing, you know, checking everything out. Um, there's your fan control board for this uh particular for a furnace um, <clears throat> we're gonna be doing a lot of tests up here so here we go all right guys we're back um, okay from your blower motor uh, first thing we got to do is before we service this we got to make sure the units unplugged which in pack it is so nothing no power coming in so that way I can point out different um, parts of your uh, uh, the air handler okay you got your uh, transformer right here this is your uh, primary and this is your secondary 
your uh, single run capacitor and right here this is your fan control board and this is our 5 amp fuse this is your low voltage wiring from your thermostat and uh, over here on this Molex plug which is uh, this part right here this is where all your um, your rollout switches and your main limit or high limit switch is uh, wired up and uh, also your uh, pressure switch from your inducer draft motor so <clears throat> and this is uh, the wire that goes to your door switch uh, the black wire goes from your uh, primary of your uh, transformer which is this one right here and this blue wire is coming from your uh, your uh, door switch sometimes it will be different colors so <clears throat> and this wire right here I don't know if you guys can see that get as close as I can this two wires right here goes to your uh, secondary of your transformer that feeds a 24 volts to your uh, Molex plug and um, <coughs> and this is the wires coming from your um, your blower motor white is your common blue is your medium low black is your uh, high speed and this is your low speed this particular furnace is uh, wired for uh, just see if you guys can see that get it this close as I can get more light okay this is your blue wire right here that's for your uh, medium low for heating and the black wire right here is this one that's for your uh, your high speed for your uh, for cooling for air conditioning so again this is the uh, fan control board and uh, this has a, a 30 second delay on 30 second delay off on fan calling for fan or uh, calling for uh, air conditioning Okay, now we're gonna this is your door switch. Also, um, now we're gonna move to the uh, to the furnace part of the air handler. Let me show you guys. <coughs> this is where your uh, igniter sensor. Um, there's your uh, gas burner, and you got your rollout switches, which is this one right here. Let me move this wire out of the way. And another rollout switch right here. So these are all the safeties that are connected to your Molex plug on your uh, fan control board. And way back there, that's going to be your uh, main limit switch or high limit switch. Which is also um, connected to your uh, Molex plug on your fan control board. This uh, rollout switches and the main limit switch or high limit switch they are uh, wired in series so and <clears throat> this is your pressure switch right here and right behind underneath it is your uh, right behind it actually it's your uh, inducer draft motor which blows all the uh, CO out of this vent pipe right here you can see it so that's your gas valve the gas valve right here and then you got a ignition module right up here okay this ignition module the, uh, the 20 it's uh, 24 volts and it gets its 24 volts once this uh, pressure switch uh, is uh, closed and um, once it's proven that it's closed it sends power to this uh, to this uh, ignition module <coughs> excuse me in this ignition module and then goes to your gas valve and to your uh, igniter so once this pressure switch is uh, um, proven closed the ignition module sends 24 volts to your uh, 24 volt coil which is right here from your um, gas valve and then um, opens up the valve the igniter also once you, it, this closed and this synergizes, it automatically will uh, start your uh, 
your uh, spark sensor igniter right here and um he has a uh, like a the flame sensor and spark igniter in one so that way you will sense the flame and then also make that uh, igniter ghost too so um basically that's that would be it i mean pretty simple you know wish i could <clears throat> take this off and show it to you guys but see one i don't know if they have a screw behind there too but that's that's what it is right there the ignition module you know some models don't have it um some models will just have the your main your rollout switches or your your uh your uh, main limit or high limit switch directly goes to your gas valve so there are different types of, uh, of uh, system so this one right here happens to have an ignition module some don't so what it is like the um, your rollout switches or main limit or high limit switch will directly be connected to your gas valve your pressure switch also and your igniter so but this model right here has the uh, ignition module. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run some tests. Since we have the unit out right now, and it's already, like I said, it's power off. Uh, everything's unplugged. We're gonna check out, um, you know, like I said, we're gonna ohm the transformer. Uh, check it for uh, ohms. Uh, we're gonna check the uh, run capacitor, a single run capacitor. We're gonna ohm that, ohm that one out too. So, and then also we're gonna check. <clears throat> we're gonna ohm out the uh, this pressure switch. So you're supposed to read infinity, but you know if it's uh, if you don't read infinity, that means the uh, pressure switch contacts are stuck. So that's one thing you gotta uh, check out too. And also the the rollout switches, which is this two right here, and the main limit. Um, this one's supposed to be um, always closed. So, and uh, this roll-up switches are uh, manually resettable. If you can see the red part right in the middle, just that one, and that one right there with my fingers. So, yeah, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna start over here. We're gonna check our check our transformer. Uh, we're gonna check. We're gonna ohm it out. We're gonna take it out from the the connections from the um, fan control board. We're gonna um, check for resistance. So here we go, and uh, we're gonna also check the microfarads for the um, for the uh, single run capacitor. So here we go.